In this tutorial in CyberLink Audio Director, I'd like to show you how you can take two separate music files and combine them together into one. I have a subscriber who asked how they could do that with Christmas music. In their case, they actually wanted to take one of the two and cut it short, crop it to a smaller size, and then add another file to it. I'm going to do that with two random files rather than two Christmas files, but the process doesn't affect the outcome. So the first thing I need to do is get my audio files. I'm going to click in the panel in the upper left, the down arrow on the file folder, it's import media, and I'll just grab a couple of random audio files from this subdirectory and click on open. When I do that, I have two separate files. When I, the one I am clicked on will show in the preview screen. Wild at Heart sounds like this. Then I click on a simple way and it sounds like this. So let's assume we wanted to take the simple way and cut it, make it shorter, and then add the Wild at Heart to it. How can I do that? Well, I'm going to move my playhead to the place where I'd like to cut it. And here I'm just taking some places arbitrary, not some place I probably would use if I were really doing this. And then I move the mouse to the little gold area. It will light up and the icon will change and I'll drag to the right. Go to the end of the clip and then click on the scissors to cut the right section out. So now this is shorter. It still fills the whole screen because that's the default behavior. But what I want to do now is I want to add to that the Wild at Heart. How do I do that? Well, I click on the name of the other song. And now I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm going to highlight it and copy it. So I move to the place I want to start. I highlight that so it lights up, drag to the place where I want to stop, and then I click on the copy button at the top. I go back to the other file that I've already shortened. My playhead's at the end where I want to add it, and I'm going to click on paste. And now you see I have the one file pasted at the end of the other, which I've already truncated. So let's play just a few uh, moments of this. And not exactly two that I would put together that way, but you see the technique. So if I want to save the file, I click on File at the top. I can click on Produce and Produce Audio. That will give me the option of giving it a name. I'll just call this uh, My New Test, and it will save it wherever I want it to, in this case a desktop. I'm going to determine what kind of file I want to create. I'll take a WAV file in this case and click on Produce. It's now created the file. You notice it added My New Test here. Now, if I'm going to put this into CyberLink PowerDirector, the easiest way I like to do that is not tie the two programs to each other. I'm going to right click on the name of the new file and click locate on disk. That will open my file menu and here I see where the file is and I can take this file, I know the location, and drag and drop and put it into PowerDirector or any other program. So that's one of the ways in which you can combine and truncate files of different songs or any kind of audio content using CyberLink Audio Director.